Hi everyone, Etta here. Welcome back to my channel. I placed an order on January 1st because I wanted to go ahead and start picking up some of the items that were available for consultants to pick up for the spring summer season. And I also wanted to take advantage of picking up some of the last chance items, especially some of those things that I wanted to make sure that I got before they ran out. And um, I have Andy the alpaca sitting here with me because I decided last night I would had the same scent uh, pack in him since I had gotten him in I think like June of 2000, June 2019 and man that I could still smell it as of like a couple of days ago I was like well I could smell it but it's really really faint so I kept thinking what do I want to put in in Andy I wanted to put a new scent in him and I kept looking at him and I decided to go with hugging a mug and that's actually one of the scents that's going to be discontinuing at the end of January and oh my gosh I put him I put this the hugging a mug in him last night and I brought him um, brought him into the TV room with me to sit down and watch TV and immediately when I walked into the living room to go to the TV room the uh, my dog Haley uh, Haley, that's my previous dog, my dog Xena. Um, my dog Xena looked at it and her eyes got really big. Like, oh, is that my toy, my friend? And I thought, I looked at her, I said, no, Xena, this is mama's, this mama's friend, not yours, you can't have her. And oh, she still wanted to take her away from me, so I had to make sure she, she sat right next to me. But she smells amazing, that hug in a mug. I put her in my bed last night because I just wanted to keep smelling it all night long and wow I guess maybe because it's a super fresh pack it smelled really strong really amazing it has that coffee like a, um, a mocha coffee kind of smell it just smells so good so I thought she'd come sit with me and then I'm gonna put her on my desk when I go to work this morning and have I'd still be able to smell it all day so anyways, let me jump into what I got. I went ahead and picked up, oh my goodness, a big pack of catalogs. So I have one here. I'm not going to go through it, but it's got all kinds of great um, returning items and new items. So I'm looking forward to taking some time and looking through that. Um, although I did kind of look through it on the copy that I could get from the uh, workstation. So anyways, let me go through what I got. I picked up a bag of the sea salt and avocado Scentsy Soak. I'm not a bath person, but my husband is. And so I figured, let me go ahead and pick this up since it was one of the things that's discontinuing and seems to be going away completely. So I went ahead and picked that up for him. Um, I had mentioned oh, in one of my videos when I was talking about the discontinuing items that... You know not to forget to do bundle and save and i had mentioned that <clears throat> one of the bundle and saves you could do was the classic clean where you would get the counter clean the um, bathroom cleaner and the dish soap right and you get it at a reduced price so i said you know you could always do that with the gogo -Go mango since that's the one that's going away and that's exactly what i did so i have the counter clean in gogo -Go mango and the bathroom cleaner in Gogo -Go Mango and the dish soap in Gogo -Go Mango. So that's gonna be awesome for the springtime. And look at Andy, he's he's trying to go to sleep on me. <laughs> All right, then um, I'm not gonna open this up and plug it in and all that. Um, more so because you've probably already seen it in other videos. My goodness, I can't even get it out of the box. Um, but I also, oh, sorry, Andy, I dropped him. Anyways, I had already got it in the uh, warmer of the month, but I got it in a different color originally. So I picked up the Etched Core Silver because I went to put out my Etched Core Rose Gold and I was going to put it on the in the TV room on the same, I keep two warmers on the same TV stand. And I was going to put the Etch Core Rose Gold and the original Etch Core on the table. And I thought, mm, 
I was like, I think, and I didn't want two of the same color. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick up the silver and that way I can have the rose gold and the silver on the stand. And they would have that vibrancy of having the color. Um, and then I have the etched core original um, basically in that same room, but like in the middle of the room. So it'd be the same warmers throughout the room, just in different colors. And I thought that would look nice. So I went ahead and picked up the silver. So I've got that. And <clears throat> excuse me, they had from, I mentioned in the clearance um, and in the last chance, I mentioned in the last chance that they had the friend, you know, basically like a buddy, but it uh, looks like a doll. They had Yuna and Boris the Yeti. So I did pick up Yuna with Boris the Yeti. And I'm going to try to pull her out real quick. The box is so cute. It's got, you know, like the little doorway with the window with Boris. And then her. And then they do such a nice job with the packaging. So let me see if I can get this out quickly. I don't want to spend too much time doing that. I'm actually going to have to split this video up because I did get... Um, the testers and then I also got the sample set of the oils for the spring and summer and I don't want to do all of this in one video so I'm going to actually do a video where I sniff out the the new scents in the testers and then I'm going to do another one for sniffs of the oils so that I can kind of concentrate on each one individually. All right oh my goodness let me put this here on the side uh, no it's not working all right She's all, she is so cute. And her, her hair looks like mine when it's not in a ponytail. All discombobulated. <laughs> that's, that's the way mine looks when I take it out of the ponytail. Oh, she's so cute. And then there's Boris in her pocket. And then let's see, get the little Scentsy logo on her. She's got like little polka dot sleeves, her little bow in her hair. Her hair's like almost like if it was clipped up here. So cute. Oh, look at this. It's got like a little thing to, I guess, close the jacket if you want. It even has the button on the other side. So you can actually close her jacket. And let's see her jacket basically like this, her... Oh, okay, so it looks like you could probably, well, let me see. Yeah, it looks like it's Velcroed. Yeah, Velcroed. So if you wanted to, I guess you could take this off and wash it. And then underneath her dress here is the little zippered compartment so that you could put the scent pack. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. She is adorable with her little dress, her little vest. She is so cute with boars. Oh, okay. Put her away before I sit here and play with her all morning. All right, put her back in the box. And then I meant, when I mentioned her in the uh, items that was discontinuing, I said that she was the last one of the other, um, of the little friends because all the other ones were already sitting in clearance and so I kept going back and forth between a couple of them I really liked Capri and I really liked Sierra and I I felt like okay I can't get them all but I really want one of them and I kept going back and forth back and forth back and forth trying to figure out which one I wanted and I ended up going with the one that I felt like was pulling me the most originally right so between the two of two of the ones that I was looking at, I wound up going with Capri. I loved her little pink hair and I liked the look of her dress in the picture. And that's the front of the box. Doesn't that look so cute? Capri. And the difference with this one, the other one is just a big tall rectangular box, but this one is shaped like a little house. Look at that. That is adorable. What little girl would not love that? Oh my gosh. All right, let me see if I can get her out without messing up this box. A little tabs at the very top. 
I don't have nails. This is hard. Oh my goodness. I don't want to rip it. I want to destroy the box. There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. And she's in there. And she comes with the unicorn. Look at this. She's even got like the little tool on the bottom part of her dress. Oh, she's adorable. Look at her. Her head's a little cocked right now from being in the box. There's the little unicorn that's in her pocket. Her legs, even her legs have the, the feet have the little um, kind of glittery looking satiny kind of shoes and then her hair is kind of like I don't know to me it almost looked like mine like it would be in a ponytail but she's got a pretty little bow in hers I don't have a bow in mine I'm gonna have to fix that and my hair is not pink <laughs> she's adorable and I just I love the dress I thought it was so cute so this is Capri and I did notice that Capri was already um out of stock sold out I guess so I don't think that one will be restocked um, but I did notice that Sierra is still there and I'm guessing she's gonna be just as adorable as Capri I can't imagine I might have to fix that later I don't want to completely mess up her head all right so I got that like I said I picked up the oil samples and I picked up the testers for the um, spring and summer season and then the rest of what I got were some things that were discontinuing I obviously got the scent packs to put into the two um, the two friends two buddy girls and I um, I decided to go with scents that were discontinuing so that it'd be a two for one kind of thing. I have a bunch of different packs so I can always put whatever pack I want in the girls and keep these for something else if I choose to but I wanted to pick up packs that were discontinuing so that it would be like two birds with one stone kind of thing. So I picked up Snowberry and Winterberry Apple Tea. And that still might go for the for the two girls not sure but it's a good idea and then I had mentioned that for the car bar clips my husband loves the saddle up car bar clip and I'm so afraid it's not gonna come back so I went ahead and picked up three of saddle up car bar clips and so that he'll be stopped for a while and oh my goodness let me see if I can get these out of here ah, I picked up I said I was going to get probably kind of stocked up a little bit I picked up some of the oils I said I wanted to get them before they were gone and I picked up one ginger tea and lime and I got one of the vetiver and sandalwood I got one of the grapefruit blood orange which I have not tried and I'm so looking forward to trying that one I got two of the red currant raspberry I absolutely love this scent and I will say that usually when the wax bars say that they have current as one of the scent notes in it i usually don't like it i i usually find the current too off-putting for me but in the oil i really if it comes through it blends with the raspberry so well that it it to me it's just this beautiful fruity raspberry just wonderful kind of scent uh, it's not like ultra tart it's not ultra sweet it's just really really nice and I love it and like I said I actually enjoy mixing it with um, either lemon or lots of lemon and gosh and I usually diffuse it at the same time as doing either the we're all mad here or the um, monstropolis I think it goes so well together so I made wanted to make sure I picked up a couple of them just in case it doesn't come back 
at the end uh, for the fall and winter season, which I don't know, red currant raspberry to me doesn't seem like it would be just a fall winter kind of scent. So I wanted to make sure I had some. And then I also picked up two of the sea salt and grapefruit. And that is so hard to come up. I hope it's coming up. I'm not sure. Anyways, I love grapefruit scents and the sea salt and grapefruit has a perfect balance. It's not that sea salt isn't like some salty, salty scent that you get with the grapefruit. Although when I know um, if you eat grapefruit, I've always asked people, do you put sugar on your grapefruit? Do you eat it just the way it is? Or um, I've always liked it with salt. Um, certain fruits, I like to put salt on them as opposed to sugar. And grapefruit is one of those. Um, the, the little bit of salt on the grapefruit, it kind of cuts a little bit of the bitterness that you get maybe from, from grapefruit sometimes, and it just enhances the flavor so well. I'm sure people who like sugar on it think it does the same thing for them. They, it sweetens it, and I've tried it with sugar, and I think it tastes really good, but for me, the flavor is just so much more enhanced with a little bit of salt on grapefruit. So that little bit of salt with the grapefruit in the scent there, just mm, awesome. I love it. And I would highly recommend it. And then the rest of what I got, oh, I did get one item extra. Let's see if I can get to it real quick. Obviously, I got a bunch of bars from some of the scents I think that were either discontinuing or that um, would help me fill out a six pack. Let's see. Now I made a mess. All right. Oops, one more in there. All right. And the other item I picked up, I have one of these already, but I wanted to get an extra one because if I have it in the same room, I thought it would look nice to have two of the same, right? Kind of like if I do the edge core on the ends of the same table. Um, if I use a stand for them, I want it to be the same stand so that it looks nice. Not that I'm going to use this stand for it, but I went ahead and picked up another of the tin. And uh, if you could see it, it's right there underneath my... Um, God is great warmer, which right now I have it turned off because I turned them off last night so that I could change the wax this morning. So um, I, I love the way that uh, warmer stand works. And a lot of times I don't use it necessarily as a cord concealing. I just want it for the height um, as a little extra protection for my furniture kind of thing. So I wanted to get another one for that. And then the rest, like I said, is wax bars. So let's see. I think I did a couple of six packs. I know I did a six pack of licensed and I'm trying to organize them here now. And what I did was I picked up on the six pack, I got three of the Dumbo Circus Parade. And again, because it's such a perfect scent for the spring summer, it's very light and fruity. It's just, gosh, it smells so good. A little bit of uh, kind of like citrusy. It's just, it's beautiful. And I can't imagine, I mean, I guess it could come back as a specialty release kind of thing. And maybe they'd bring it back for a little special release. But it won't, I can't imagine that it would come back in the catalog per se. But I could be wrong. It could. Um, can't, just because it doesn't seem like it doesn't mean it won't. But likelihood, mm, not sure. But for the rest of the six pack, I went ahead and got three bars of fresh ice, the NHL uh, bar, because I love this one. It's very fresh and minty, and it does such a wonderful job. Oh my gosh, I love that. It does such a wonderful job of just making the whole house smell fresh, like fresh air. Um, you know, kind of when you go outside and it's a really crisp kind of day, the air just feels like it smells better. It just, the crispness in the air just makes the air smell better and um, makes it feel better too, I guess, in a way. I don't necessarily want to be cold, but your crispness, crispness in the air does feel good. And that's kind of what this scent does. 
it just makes the air feel fresh and crisp and love it so got that six pack and then i think i picked up two let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine okay oh i know i got a three pack with my warmer i was like why didn't i get two six packs but that's what it was i got a three pack with the warmer and then another six pack so i'm just gonna go through the ones that i got i'm not gonna do which ones i got with what so i picked up a best in snow because i really liked that one when i warmed it um early in january i really liked the way that one smelled and then i picked up an autumn road trip because i really like this one i didn't want to put it in my club though but I wanted to make sure I had one for next fall, just in case. Then I got an Arctic Kiss so that I could, uh, even though I have my brick, I wanted to be able to have this and this did go into my club. So good, I really, like I said, I, I, didn't, I didn't enjoy it in my TV room, but I really enjoy it on the landing so that it does the whole foyer and upstairs area. And then I picked up one Jade and Jasmine, which is the scent of the month. And I absolutely love this one. Gosh, I love, 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 love this one. Put it in my club right away. In fact, before my club locked up for me, I went ahead and added three scent circles, knowing that it would come in this, and two more bars, knowing that it would come in this, because I just absolutely adore this one. Love it. Um, then I also picked up two of Around the Campfire. I like this one a lot. And like I said, I didn't get a chance to warm it that much this season. I think because it was always, it seemed like there was always a new release. There was other bars that I was trying to get through. But I wanted to have this one. Um, I actually think this one would even be nice for, even in the summertime, for outdoors. If you have a warmer outdoors when you're um, when you're having like a barbecue or you're hanging out by the pool or something like that. Um, I don't want to put a glass warmer anywhere near the pool. But um, I'm sure I could figure out a different warmer to use or something where I can use this. And just have that outdoorsy, especially early evening, you know, like give you the feeling like you've got a campfire going, even if it's too hot to actually have one. I think that would be nice. And then I picked up a bar of Snowberry because I absolutely love this one. Gosh, this is so good. And this is one that I would be very disappointed if it didn't come back. So I definitely put this one in my club. And I did put around the campfire in my club too. I got a Stroop Waffle Delight, and I've said before that I like bakery, but I'm not um, a huge bakery person. I, I like a lot of bakery scents, don't get me wrong. I, I, I enjoy them, I like them, but it's usually not the first category that I'm going to reach for when I'm going to pick out um, wax to melt. But Stroop Waffle Delight would absolutely be an exception to that. Um, it is a very strong scent. It's wonderful. I've even said that I've I've melted one cube of this in my kitchen in um, an eight watt element warmer, which was the the little toaster, and I don't always get the greatest performance. And a lot of consultants know that the eight watts it does okay, but it doesn't always have the best performance. I mean, some other warmers will give you better performance, but I put one cube of this in that eight watt element warmer and I could smell it all the way in the living room. That's how well it threw in an eight watt element warmer. I mean, it is just decadently sweet, smells amazing, great performer. That's one that I would absolutely keep and I have put that one in my club because that is a definite bakery scent that I think does really well, throws well, smells great. It just, it hits all the right buttons for keeping in my club and using a lot. So I like that one. And then I also picked up one of the Vanilla Mint because I wanted to have one extra for January. And this did go in my club also because this is another one that I would be very disappointed if it didn't come back. Ah, oh, smells so good. 
I've been doing the pod at my desk in the little wolf in the little wolf in the little mini fan diffuser. Gosh, love that. Mmm. Oh, okay. So, anyways, I'm gonna spend the whole time smelling and sniffing things that I've already sniffed before. Anyways, that's what I picked up in my haul from January 1st that had um, last chance items and new items, basically. Like I said, the catalog, this, the testers, the oil samples, and I'm going, like I said, I'm going to do other videos to go over those, but um, didn't you just love those little girls? They are just so, so cute. And like I said, uh, Sierra is still available. At least when I looked last night, she was still available. And I think any little girl that loves dolls would absolutely love that. And like I said, you can always pick up you can always pick up one of the scents that's uh, discontinuing, um, whether you use that one for the little girl or not. Um, it's just another idea of how to pick up some of those scent packs that are discontinuing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you did. I really enjoy having conversations with, conversations with you. <laughs> I'm not talking very well today. I haven't had my coffee and it's almost time to get to work. So I need to get going. Anyways, I hope that you'll come back and you'll watch some other videos. Like I said, the one for the testers and the one for the oils. Hopefully I'll get those out really soon. Um, busy, busy, busy uh, work week. And I will get those videos done as soon as I possibly can. And until next time, enjoy your sense, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.